Good morning, Coincopter 101 here. Before we get started, my shout out goes to Ethan Vigil. Ethan Vigil was the first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus wins a shout out. So, what do I got for you today? This is a neat little quadcopter. This is the Ishin EX2 Mini. Looking at it, you can tell right away this is a rebranded version of the uh, MJX Bugs 3 Mini, but this one comes equipped, ready to fly, with an FPV 5.8 gigahertz FPV camera. I think it's their C5810 FPV camera. It's a 40 channel uh, switchable. I'll show you that shortly how to switch that. But um, why would you want a 5.8 gigahertz camera in this? Well, the reason being this one is capable of flying both in stabilized angle mode and in acro. So this might be a good acro FPV trainer for beginners. It's low cost. You can get a ready to fly. Uh, system with 5.8 gigahertz FPV acro flyer uh, from Ishi. So uh, that's what we're doing today. Um, as you can see, it's brushless. It's uh, brushless motors are uh, 1306 2750 kV motors. Um, it comes powered by a 7.4 volt 850 milliamp hour battery. Hold on. Okay, here's that battery. Uh, 7.4 volt, 850 milliamp hour. But what you can see is that this is a proprietary battery. So uh, you will need to be buying the Bugs 3 uh, Mini or the Ishin EX2 Mini replacement batteries for this airplane or for this aircraft to be able to continue flying. Um, it also comes, believe it or not, with goggles. Uh, the well, this is an optional. Uh, these goggles. But uh, the way this goggles work is it has an FPV screen inside, a 40 channel FPV screen. Um, you have control over channels by pressing this button here or hold it down and it has a scanner built in for scanning to the different channels. You also can control contrast and brightness by these buttons here. And I f oh, this is the menu button which you press by entering there. Um, on off switch on the side. Charging port on the side is micro USB. Uh, notice there is no micro SD card slot either in this or in the uh, quadcopters camera, so there is no capability for recording, unfortunately, of your video. So for today's flight, I'll be both using these goggles and also I will be recording using my uh, own goggles here. In particular, I'll be using uh, the RD2 goggles from Ishin. Um, now let's pop the top of this and take a look beneath the hood, what we got here. And opening it up here, we see we have a, a flight control board with a built-in uh, ESCs, they're 4 and one ESCs. We do have a beeper on this aircraft. And finally, here's our 5.8 gigahertz FPV camera already installed, C5810. Now to change channels on this, there's a little button right there. I don't know if you can see that, but a quick press changes the channels and a long press changes the frequency band of this. Um, other than that, that's about it. Uh, notice these prongs that go into the proprietary battery. Before you fly for the first time, there's a little cover on this that you're going to need to remove. So remember to do such or else you'll be wondering why the battery is not hooking up with the quadcopter because of that battery protective plate that comes with it when, it's, when you first get it. Okay, let's snap the top back on. They just snap on. There's these little clips here that hold the thing in place. And that's about it. Now let's go over the controller. This is the Ishin Bugs 3 or Ishin Mini 2 controller. Um, the buttons we got on it, you can turn the lights on and off on the drone by pressing this button here. Start the motors by a press of this button here and also stop the motors by that button here. You can go from low to high rate by pressing this button here. And this button here is inoperative since you can't record video. But uh, for other MJX uh, quadcopters that have camera or record capability, that would be for photos and videos there. Now this is the important button. This switches between angle, up, or acro when it's done like such. Now I'm going to start off flying in angle, line of sight, and then we're going to follow on with uh, acro with FPV. So that's, let's get right into this flight. The rest of these buttons are trim buttons for controlling yaw trim, roll trim, and pitch trim and on off switch here and for the first time you bind this you might need to hold down this red button here while turning on the transmitter to bind this uh, receiver or this transmitter to the quadcopter uh, you only need to do that once once it's bound it remembers that so let's go into fly this thing and see how it performs hope you enjoy this flight okay to start this quadcopter you simply plug in the battery 
like so. And then you turn on the transmitter like so. But again, the first time you turn this on, you might want to hold this button down while turning on the transmitter. That will bind the quadcopter. But it should remember to bind right now. And we hear a beep. And we'll see if we can start the motors. And motor stop, start. And let's see if we can stop them by holding it down. Okay, let's go for a flight this thing. Okay, we're going to start the flight with line of sight flying in angle mode. So let's start the motors. And let's take to the air by increasing the throttle. Let's see how this flies. I am in low rate right now. Now, I forgot to mention, there's a button on the back, this one in particular, for doing flips. <laughs> it's on the right, the L1 button, I'm sorry. Let's bring it down so you can see those flips. But bringing it by, and I'm going to hold the button down, and we're going to try it out. So it does flips very well. How about maneuverability, funnels? This is in low rate, keeping in mind. Oh man, it's a nice flyer. Let's go to higher rate. Let's see what it does there. Very steep pitch in high rate. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's go into acro, that's the biggie. Okay, I demonstrated what the Bugs 3 can do and the Ishin Mini can do. Let's land it. And turn off the motors. And we'll go into Acro. So, and to do such, I'm going to switch this button down like so. We're in Acro mode now, we should be. So, let's go for a flight of this thing in Acro. Okay, these are the goggles that come with this. Um, it has magnification, so you can see that little screen very well. It looks very good, actually. But let's start up the motors by pressing that uh, motor stop start button and take it to the air. Okay, I am not in acro. This is an angle mode, so I forgot with these MJXs to switch to acro. You need to turn the quadcopter on and off. So hold on, folks. Okay, I had to restart the quadcopter. Um, you have to do such if you wish to fly in acro or angle mode to switch between them. You have to restart the quadcopter and uh, restart the transmitter and rebind. So there we go. So let's do it again. Starting the motors. Motors are started and taken to the air in acro. It definitely is acro now. <laughs> and it's very, well, um, <laughs> the view, I am going to have to land this, folks. This is unusual in that, uh, it is acro, definitely acro, but the, the um, view that I'm seeing here is very, very zoomed in. Uh, it's not wide angles, and, and the reaction is very uh, quick also on this thing. Uh, I'm not used to flying it like this, to tell you the truth. And I'm actually worried I'm going to crash it. So let's turn off that acro. This is not a... Okay, started stopping the motors. Trying to stop the motors. Holding the button down. There we go. Um, the problem is the camera is so narrow field of view. And any movement that I'm giving it is extreme showing up as extreme movement so uh, i really can't coordinate what i'm doing while flying that it's, it's kind of hard to explain but what i'm going to do is switch back to angle mode and we're going to finish this out in angle mode that should be somewhat simpler and safer to fly this in okay switch back to angle um uh, i think that'll be safer to fly this due to the uh somewhat narrow field of view that i'm getting here but let's start up the motors one more time and take them to the air again yeah, now this is somewhat safer to fly it in FPV. The other way, you know, flying it in an acro, it just did not feel safe uh, because of the narrow field of view. And also the, the reaction on this is, is quite rapid. And I'm in low rate, folks. But let's go through here. Let's see if I can fly this safely. Let's see if I can go to a higher speed. 
Okay, getting the feel for it. Coming down low. Near us. Okay, that's better. You, you can't fly this FPV, but you should be in, uh, I'm sorry, you have to be at angle. It just doesn't, doesn't feel normal flying it in acro because of this narrow field of view of the camera. So I'm going to finish up this FPV uh, flying here shortly. Again, I'm flying FPV in angle mode as the acro mode was quite <laughs> twitchy. Okay, coming down through here. Let's see if we can go through the trees. Notice, notice the beeping I got there as I was losing uh, DB or RSSI from the, the quadcopter. It gives you a little warning. I forgot to mention this thing has telemetry warning for both low battery and low signal. Okay, so as a trainer, FPV trainer, this would be good if you stay in angle mode. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it quits there with FPV flying because I'm gonna finish this out because this flies better as a um, sport flyer. That's where it really shines. So I'm gonna take the camera back from my wife here. Thanks, son. And we'll finish this out with sport flying of this little drone. Let me check that my camera's properly placed on my head. And put this on a flatter surface to start it up again. And putting my glasses on. And we'll flat until we lose battery power. So starting the motors. Yeah, where this shines is as a sport flyer. <laughs> it is a good sport flyer. FPV, not so much. Um, you know, it has the acro. You can do line of sight acro flying if you're talented enough to do so. But uh, as FPV acro with this, it's it's not very comfortable. It's <laughs> I I would certainly crash if I would have continued doing what I was doing there. Let's let's try those flips. Let's set it up and get some FPV view from high, on high, since I am recording, recording the area through my VRD2 goggles. Again, this does not come with record capability. The way I'm recording is using uh, optional goggles, VRD2s. Let's see, uh, we'll go down the field a bit. Coming back up. <laughs> it is a good sport flyer, I'll give you that. It really is. Enjoyable little sport flyer. Um, although the 5810 camera in there is wobbly, or is very narrow uh, that doesn't wouldn't sh or shouldn't stop you from putting in optional other uh, all-in-one cameras in there maybe something with a much better wider field of view so that you can fly this comfortably <laughs> but the one the camera that's in there right now you know it, and the way this flies it's really twitchy that's the word I was looking for twitchy so as a FPV racer, the way it is right now, you know, out of the box, I don't know, or FP, even an FPV trainer. But good, dang good sport flyer. Wonderful little sport flyer. So the Ishin EX2 Mini, rebranded Bugs 3 Mini. Available as a bare bones flyer, sport flyer, which I really like this as. Or coming with a C, the C5810 camera, or C5810 camera and goggles. Uh, but again, I recommend uh, considering wider field of view 
camera then supplied I'm trying to get it to do a roll <laughs> when it's going by me here there we go I don't know if I came through though there we go got it that time <laughs> wonderful little quadcopter you're looking for a little brushless sport drone. This is excellent. It really is. It's hard to find little brushless. They're usually uh, not sport. Let's bring it in so you can see it up close. There it is. Machine EX2 Mini. If I remember correctly, um, or maybe I'm wrong, but the Bugs 3 Mini, I think, had altitude hold. This does not, if that was the case. Um, this is strictly angle. recording all this on my goggles okay coming down there's our battery warning it beeps too by the way if you notice hear it both that's the telemetry warning that this gets um, notice that the lights are flashing too but we're gonna land it here that's about its flight time And let's put it down. And stopping the motors. My long press. So, there <laughs> goes that beeper. Let's turn that off. I'm plugging and turning that off. So, the Ishin EX2 Mini. Neat little quadcopter. Hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101 signing out. <laughs> Thank you.